A quick new idea, daily, from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Corinne Le Carré is a climate scientist who is done trying to convince us that climate change is real. Ample evidence has been collected for decades by Corinne and other scientists. While that work by scientists is ongoing, she says the real change needs to come from us. In today's talk, she urgently reminds us that the future of our planet rests not on the work of scientists, but on our collective actions. I love science, but I have to admit uh, you can uh, get uh, pretty obsessive uh, over science uh, sometimes. When the global temperature of the year is announced in December and we have yet another warming record, I go, yes. And every year when the Australian Weather Service add a color contour to their weather map, because the temperature is getting so hot that the highway is melting, I go, wow. (laughs) And when parts of use of Texas, the oil state, get an astronomical rain in one day during a hurricane, in part because of the atmosphere, the warm atmosphere holding more water vapor, do I think about the rivers overflowing their banks? Do I think about the houses flooded in their paths? No. I think about the evidence. I think about the signal and the predictions coming true. And I think this is what climate change looks like. But yet you will not hear me tonight trying to convince you climate change is a serious issue and we might want to do something about it. I have given up. I have to confess, confession, that every few years I have my own doubts. Every few years I think, dear, dear, what if we are wrong? What if we have missed something? I pull out all of the data. Do we understand the processes? Yes. Physics of greenhouse gases is well known. Is the warming unprecedented? Yes, faster than anywhere in the recent temperature reconstructions. Has the hypothesis been tested? Do the numbers match? Yes, take the most sophisticated models around the world and they can only reproduce the observations when they consider the increase in greenhouse gases from human activities. And then I ask myself the killer question, is there any other reasonable explanation? Please people, do come up with another reasonable explanation. (laughs) And yes, we monitor the sun and it is not getting brighter. (laughs) And yes, there are natural cycles, and this is not what they look like. (laughs) This looks like climate change driven by increasing greenhouse gases in the atmosphere from human activity. I hear a lot, technology will save us. Who is that technology? Who do you trust to save us? Why is it, I wonder, now we have beautiful electric cars, almost as cheap as petrol cars, way smarter, they make no noise, they pollute very little, they almost drive themselves. Why is it that emissions from transport worldwide is one of the biggest sources of emissions, and in this country they are going up? It is because it is not the engineers who will save us. Technology will not save us when it comes to climate change. Technology is already there. We are just not smart enough to see it and not smart enough to use it. People ask me all the time, what do I do to solve climate change? How do I solve climate change? I know that for the warming of the planet to stop, 
our emissions need to go down to zero. Not a little bit here and there, but zero across all of the sectors of the economy, through all of the activities that you and I do every day. That means a complete transformation of the way we use energy to move away entirely from fossil fuel. And still, people, I have given up. I will not try to convince you that climate change is serious. I have given up because you need to reach your own conclusions. You need to decide for yourself. We do not teach gravity at school by showing a number on a piece of paper. We take the apple, we climb up the tree, and we let it fall. And here is gravity. You are completely free. I will not confront you. I will not make you feel guilty. But I will not stay still and do nothing about climate change. This is what I do. I am the Antarctic Sinkumpolar wave going around in circle endlessly. I nudge you. I repeat myself. I show my anomaly. I show my temperature data. And every time I do this, I explain why it is that I have reached my own conclusions about climate change. And then I walk away. And before I walk away, though, I will ask you to do one thing a little homework. It's not in the exam. <laughs> <laughs> I know people that secretly, many of you, already act on climate change secretly. I think it would be very good if we could raise the voice of environmental problems one notch. So therefore, I would like to ask you to consider not only to do what you do secretly, but to broadcast it a little bit. Not boast. No, no, no. Broadcast. For example, you could say, I recycle this plastic bottle because I do not like to waste. Also because I have seen Blue Planet 2 and I cried when the turtle meets the plastic bag. <laughs> and this is when your entire circle of, in of influence made and, 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 and combined with all the leaders and laggers among us starts moving in one direction. This is when it becomes so normal to deal with climate change in our everyday life that our understanding of what is possible and what not changes entirely. This may not seem like very much, yet I am quite convinced that before I die, we will recycle everything. I am quite convinced that before I die, we will no longer eat animals. I am quite convinced that before I die, we will breathe pure air in the heart of our cities. And before I die, I will see the end of this nonsense of environmental destruction which we are doing today. And this will not be thanks to technology or science or IT. It will be thanks to you and you, and you, and I will have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I have a mountain of data sitting on my shoulders, and yet I feel so powerless. I will not save anybody. I rely completely on you. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Coventry, England. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Warwick. Want to listen to more TEDx talks? Explore the entire archive on the TEDx YouTube channel. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you next time.